Hi, welcome to my channel Jabberteng. Today I'm going to go over a very interesting problem and topic. It's about converting between bases. Uh, this will be covering base 10 and base 5, which is the same thing as for base 4 or any other base. Let's get started. Before I move on with this example, it says write the base representation of 97, that means in our decimal form, in base 10, to base 5. To do this, I'm going to give you an overview about the place, the place value and base 10 and base 5 concept. In base 10, we use the numbers from 0 to 9. For base 10, if it's ABC base 10, it's going to be A times 10 to the power 2, which is hundreds. That's what we call it. Plus B times 10 to the power 1, plus C times 10 to the power 0. With numbers, 7, 8, 4, 2 means 7 times 10 to the power 3, plus 8 times 10 to the power 2, and so on. So we know this. Just compared to base 5, in base 5, we don't use 0 to 9, we use 0 to 4. As DEF base 5, that's in general. I'm going to save you some time and not read everything. Just going to give you an overview about what's going on. So, 2, 4, 3. Notice I did not write it or say it as 243. 2, 4, 3 base 5. 2, 4, 3 base 5 would be 2 times 5 to the second plus 4 times 5 to the first, plus 3 times 5 to the zero. Same concept, but we're not used to. That's why. Usually, as students, we slow down adding and subtracting and applying base 5, just because we're not used to. In base 7, we don't have a number 7. It's up to 6. In base 8, we don't have the number 8. In base 2, it's just 0 and 1. We don't have the number 2. Since our focus on base 5, these are the values of place value. Notice in base 10, we call this uh, tens, hundreds, thousands. Here, it's we're counting 1s and 5s, 25s, 125s, 625s, and so on. Back to the problem. How could we write 97 base 10 in base 5? Well, in base 5, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I want to give you an overview, an idea about the concept. Understanding the concept will stay with you more than just studying for a quiz or a test. Let me give you an idea. So the place value in base 5 are 5 to the first, 5 to the uh, 0, 5 to the second, 5 to the third, 5 to the fourth, 5 to the fifth, and so on. So if you have a cash register, that drawer that is in base 5, it holds 1s, 5s, 25s, 125s, 625s for the convenience. What happens is 97, if I put it in this cash register, 97 is less than 125, so this uh, place and this place will be empty. So I'm going to talk about 25s. I do have 25s. How many 25s in it? Just as a common sense, as a concept. There is three 25s, which equals to 75. So if I take out of 97, 75 dollars, which is three 25s, and put them here, I'm going to count the number 3. Because I am taking away 325s right there. So what do I have left? 22. Now I'm looking at 5s. How many 5s do I have in my hand if I'm holding $22? Well, that's 4 5s. Speaking about how many fives in 22, that's four fives. And I'm going to have a remainder of two. 
two units, two ones. That four fives goes right there. And two does not have any fives in it. So it goes into the units place value. Two equals two times five to the power zero, two times one, which is right there. So we did answer it without dividing, without complicating it, just by the concept. So what's 97 base 10 base 5? It's 3, 4, 2, base 5. How about if you want to take it back? If somebody gave you 340, I say 300, it's not 300. 3, 4, 2, base 5, and you want to write it down in base 10. In base 10, all what you need to do is symbol. Use the place value, and you're done. 3 times 5 to the second, 4 times 5 to the first, 2 times 5 to the zero, add them up, and you're done. 75, 20, and 2. If you add them up, that's 97. So one way is dividing, and one way is multiplying. We're going to see more in the coming slides. So here we go. To convert from base 10 to base 5, to make it a summary, different than just a cash register, you want to take 97 divided by 25, because that's the highest that you could handle or deal with. You didn't have 125 in it. You get the answer 3, and the remainder 22. Now, the 22, you want to divide it by 5 to see how many 5s in it. The answer is 4, and the remainder is 2. It's 3, 4, Two. And that's the answer. Three, four, two. Now here's the cash register. Three, four, two goes right there. I don't have any 125s or 625s in it. Here's more about this. Since 97 does not have any 125s or 625s in it, we start dividing by the highest place value, which is in this case 25. Since 5 to the 3rd is 125 and 6, 5 to the 4th is 624 are higher than 97. So we start dividing by 5 to the 2nd, which is 25, then by 5 to the 1st, and the remainder will be 5 to the 0. Here's another problem to practice with concepts. I'm going to do it quick. 130 base 10, you want to write it in base 5. So you're actually counting 5s. Place value of 5s. Take a look. 5 to the 0 goes here, 5 to the 1st goes here, 5 to the 2nd goes here, and 5 to the 3rd goes here. I do have 125s here. 25s, 5s, and 1s. Looking at 130, I have 125. Take it out of 130, it right there that's 125 what do you have left only one five you don't have 25s in it only one five goes right here you don't have any units and that should do it as simple as that take a look 130 is 125s and one five and that's it no 25s and no units so quick it's that easy we're not used to that's the main reason. Once you get used to it, it's so quick. And that's the answer as an idea of a cash register, if you think about it that way. Now, how about to convert it back? I told you just uh, earlier. You just multiply. Take a look. Multiply by powers of 5. 1 times 5 to the 3rd, 5 to the 2nd, 5 to the 1st, and 5 to the 0. Or count backwards, so you won't miscount. 0, 1, 2, 3. And that's 125. No, uh, sorry, one, 125, zero 25s, one five, and if you add them, that's one theory. And the answer is in base 10. This is a cash register in base 10. Look at it. You see, it's different than this cash register. Uh, to close up this video, I'm going to give you an overview about what's happening with place value. In base 10, we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 9. 
after 9 this digit is filled what we do is we open another digit and we make this digit 0 so we read it as 1 0 or 10 once we get to 19 9 is filled we make it 0 we add 1 here would we'll make it 20 we just keep going once we get to 99 they're both filled add one more we make them zeros and we add one same thing happens right here you see that take a look four it's filled add one more how do you add one to four in base five you make it a zero and open a new place and make it one how about here one four add one to it four is the highest number that we could have in base five so what we do is we have to make it a zero and add one to the second place on our left and make it two that's called counting by fives so that should help look at 44 or 4 4 add one to it those are the highest numbers that we could use in base 5 so we have to force it to be zeros and we add one in a new place to the left it looks like a hundred but that's what we read it one zero zero base five so if you know how to count in base five that helps a lot and if you look at it for the coming video if you think about it differently here's another way to look at it in for example let's say 19 19 how many fives in it that's 15 which is three fives and four units here we go look three four take another one 22 what's 22 how many fives four fives and two units yep four two that should do it and i'll see you in the next one thank you thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you